let's look at this question <coughs> uh, on probability okay so the question is very interesting where you are throwing darts a dart is thrown at the board shown now this is the board okay the the dart board a prize is one if the number hits a multiple of three or a multiple of five okay now when you say multiple of three the multiples of three are three six nine twelve and so on it goes on and on and the multiples of five you should now understand is five ten fifteen and so on or any number which you can divide by five is a multiple of five and whichever number you can divide by uh, or exactly divide by three and five are called uh, multiples of three and five. I hope you understand the idea. Okay, so let us circle the numbers uh, which can which wins prize. I and mean, twenty nine is not a multiple of three or five. So this does not give you prize. So fifteen is. I'll only circle the numbers which gives you prize. Seventeen is neither a multiple of three or five. Thirty nine years. Three times thirteen is thirty nine. 3 times 4 is 12. 43 again is not a multiple of 3 and 5. 18 is because 3 times 6 is 18. 25 is 5 times 5. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers that can win prize. And 1, 2, 3, 4 number that does not win prize. So let's read the question now. What is the probability, what is the probability that a prize will be 1 with 1 with 1 throw. So I've drawn a probability tree. So this is the first throw uh, and this is the second throw. Now again here the first throw will not affect the second throw. That's what uh, what we are presuming. Okay, uh, Winning a prize or not winning a prize will not affect your result in the second throw. So A and the first throw and second throw are called independent event. Okay, that's very important. Independent. They're not affecting uh, events. Okay, so your first throw is not affecting. Sorry, your sec first throw is not second throw is not affected by the first throw. That is, they're independent. They doesn't. They don't depend on each other. Okay, so the probability of winning a prize in the first throw is one, two, three, four, five out of nine. Uh, so what the probability of not winning a prize is 4 out of 9. As I said, the second throw is not affected by the first throw. The pro uh, after the first throw, the pro probability of uh, winning a prize, so I'll write P and P dash. Now I'll ex explain what is P stands for prize, winning a prize, and P dash or P prime, you don't win a prize. So again, I'll put P and P dash here, P dash and P. The probability of winning a prize in the second throw is remains the same, which is 5 ninth, and this is 4 ninths. And here again, the same thing, the probability is not changing because they are not dependent or they are independent event. So the outcome, how do you write? First, it's always good to write the outcome. The outcome is you win prize in the first outcome, first throw and the second throw. This is for prize in the first throw, no prize in the second throw. This is an outcome of no prize in the first throw, but prize in the second throw. And finally, no prize in both the throws. So, the first question is, what is the probability that a prize will be won with one throw? So what's the probability of winning a prize in the first throw? The year it is, that is 5 ninth, just like that. Now what's the probability that two prizes will be won if two darts are thrown? That means you win prize in the first throw and you win prize in the second throw. Whenever you have the word and in probability, it's a good tool to remember. You have to multiply the probability. So What's the probability of winning a prize in the first throw? That's pi ninth. What's the probability of winning a prize in the second throw? Again, it's pi ninth. So the probability of 
winning a prize in the first and the second throw is pi 9 times pi 9 which is 25 out of 81 so that's your answer here the answer for this will be 25 out of 81 read the question again what is the probability that two prizes will be one if two darts are thrown that means you win prize in the first throw and you win prize in the second throw finally what's the probability that only one prize will be won if both the darts are if two darts are thrown so this is this probability you're talking about this probability and this probability so yeah this is you win prize in the first throw but you don't win prize in the second throw so the question is what is the probability of only one prize in uh, both the throws or two darts are thrown so this probability uh, this would be 5 9 times 4 9 which is 20 out of 81 and this would also be 4 9 times 5 9 which is 20 out of 81 so this probability I'll change color would be 20 out of 81 plus 20 out of 81 which is 40 out of 81 see you in the next video